Hey everyone, my name is Grace McKinnis and I get to serve as the children's pastor here at Highlands. You made it to day 12. We are halfway through our 21 days of prayer and fasting. Press in, don't lighten up now. It's tough, but I encourage you to really seek God for this year as we enter the second half of our fast. Remember, we will be gathering for corporate prayer next Wednesday, the 26th, from 7 to 8 p.m., both in person and online. And our worship night is next Friday, the 28th, at 7 p.m. You do not want to miss these times where we can all come and worship and pray together. Worship night is my personal favorite night of the year. It's always a powerful time, and we want you to be there. So be sure to invite your friends and family to join us as well. Our chapter for today is John 12. We are still talking about the events that lead up to the crucifixion. Today, I want to focus on Mary and what she does with a simple jar of oil. In John 12, 3, it says, Then Mary took a pound of very costly oil, anointed the feet of Jesus, and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. What I want us to really see from today's passage is that this was an act of worship. It symbolized the anointment of Jesus' body for burial. Mary did a few amazing things in this verse that I want us to look at. The biggest thing was that Mary humbled herself, because typically in this time when a guest entered the home, the guest's feet were washed with water and the guest's head was dabbed with only a small amount of oil. But here, Mary used this precious oil and anointed his feet. Jesus was not just a guest to Mary, he was her savior, and she wanted to honor him greater than she would for any other guest. This verse also says that she used a pound of the oil and that it was very costly. She used the best oil that she had for Jesus, and she used a lot of it. She gave him her best, not what she had left over. She honored him deeper than even he expected of her. A little bit later in the chapter in John 12, 5, Judas says to Mary that this oil alone is worth 300 denarii, which was worth a year's wages. This oil was worth more than most people even had, yet she lavishly poured it on the feet of Jesus to worship him. After this, she finished by wiping his feet with her hair, which means she let her hair down in public, which was very uncommon for a Jewish woman. And we say all of this to say, Mary did this all as a sacrifice and offered us a beautiful picture of worship. Mary gave the best of everything she had. She did things she wouldn't do for anyone else. And today, as we worship and pray, you too can show your love for Jesus like Mary did, honoring him and thanking him with your worship. There's also some collateral impact on Mary's act of worship. This entire home was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. As we spend time in prayer today and as we worship Him with our words, our actions, and our lifestyles, ask the Holy Spirit to also change the atmosphere of your home, your marriage, and your children. Let our worship linger in our homes like the fragrance of oil. I pray today that our worship of Jesus, whether in song, in prayer, or in the way that we live, impacts our homes with the fragrance of a life changed by the one that we worship. We'll see you all again tomorrow.